Okay, so you want to populate a list based on a cell value. So what I can do here is I can change the rating in this drop down list and it lists down here the employees that have received this rating. So I'll also show you how to do this with more than one criteria. So for example, if I chose genius here, at the moment this only shows the employees in the IT department that have that rating, but I could also select a different department. Okay, let's see how we can do this with just one criteria. So you're gonna use the filter function for this. So the array argument is asking you what you want to return as a result of this formula. Well, potentially I want to return any of these employee names. So I select the employee names, comma. Now include has to be a logical test. So the test I'm performing is, is the value in this column equal to the rating I've selected in this drop-down list? So to express the logical test, I select that column, put in my comparison operator, which is equals, and then select the rating in E3. If empty is non-mandatory and we don't really need it for this scenario. So you can see the filter result returns all the employees that have achieved this rating. If I change the rating, it changes the employees in the list. Okay, let's see how we can do this with two criteria. So we're gonna use the same function, the filter function. Our array is once again, the employee names. That's what we want to return as the result of our filter function, comma, now the include argument, once again, is gonna be a logical test, but we've actually got two criteria. Now, because you've got two criteria, you need to put each criteria in brackets. So the first criteria is, is the value in column C equal to the rating I've chosen in F3? So I close the bracket, and then I'm gonna put a multiply symbol in. I'm using the multiply symbol because this is an and criteria, as in, the record has to meet both criteria. If it was all criteria, you'd put a plus symbol there. So then I open a bracket and I express the second criteria. So that would be, is the department value equal to the department I've chosen in H3? So I close the bracket, comma, and here I do need to use if empty. So if the combination of the rating and the department returns no employees, I want to return a message, something like no employees found. If you don't specify an if empty value, it will return the calc error if no employees are found. So we'll say no employees found. Close the bracket, press enter. So now I can choose both of my criteria. And you can see there that there are no good rated employees in the IT department. But if I search for excellent, you can see that there's one there and two in finance. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.